1955 Sunbeam Talbot 90 here. Maroon over cream with the matching cream alloys and white wall tyres. 2.3 litre petrol engine, manual on the tree, on the, on the, on the stick there, on the column. Body weight wise, we'll start off with the bonnet, mechanically on the button, this one. I just the driver. Uh, we're going to start off with the bonnet, we'll go our way around the car onto the interior and then we'll go for an engine start up. The cream side of things at the bonnet, lovely and straight, all nice and tidy. We had a little imperfection in the paint here and there. Got some bubbling on the left hand side, which you can clearly see on the camera. But apart from that, all nice and presentable. All good around the scuttle, no corrosion coming through. With it being white, you'd see the mile off. Up across the top of the windscreen, you'll see we have got some paint flake around the seal. And around the sunroof, we've got a few bits of bubbling in the paint here. You can see that there. It's obviously been catching at some point as well. A little few heads come off there. A little bit of corrosion. On the back there, we've got a few little sand and marks in the paint itself. A few bubbles and some cracking in the paint itself. But again, very, very usable, this one. Back down the bonnet and onto that lovely big wing. All nice and presentable up the wing top. Again, a few light scratches in the paint, the odd little crack and some imperfections in the paint itself. Headlights are all okay. A little bit of pitting to the bezel and eyelids. Let's have a good look at the grill there. Again, some very, very light pitting to the grill, but it's all nice and straight on the grill side of things. The bright work has got some pitting on the right hand side, but all the light lenses are nice and clear. As you come down the lower half section on the right hand side, you'll see we've got some paint lift there and some cracking in the paint. The bumper itself is okay. Some light pitting and a few little dings on the bumper itself. On the right hand side, the lower section there behind, behind beneath, sorry, you get my words out of date, it's very hot. Beneath the grill by the side right there, you'll see we have got some paint cracking and some paint flake there. That's the right hand side underneath the driver's head up at the front of the wing. As we come round the wing, onto the wing top again, we've got some paint cracking and some paint lift there to the maroon side of things on the driver's wing top there. That is driver's wing top. The arch itself, it's all nice and tidy. A few bits in the paint. You can see the blemishes in the paint there, the cracking and the bubbling in the paint itself, but all nice and tidy around the, the arch. No big holes or, or rot coming through there, but you can't see that across the wing top. Lovely painted steels, might want to refurb those with some nice chrome hubcaps and a chrome collar all the way around on the white wall wheels, all the way around, that's all four. Across the lower half section, you'll see we've got a little bit of sort of rusty staining in the gutter there, some paint flake to the back of the driver's wing, and some flat spots on the paint as you come down the wing onto the driver's door. You can see the scratches there, it's, obviously it's starting to be flattered, a little bit of a drip in the paint there, like flattered and it hasn't quite been polished back up. Up the rear door again, You've got these little bubbles underneath the paint and again on the rear quarter all flat across the top and again some cracking in the paint on the rear quarter around the arch again seems to be nice nice and solid there i will do the arch tips you can have a good look at that there but there's no rust coming through the paint side of things of the arch there's nothing coming through on actual bodywork but you can see it's flat so we come up onto the door tops and do the cream there all okay across the cream sections all nice and shiny down the rear quarter and across the gutter of the roof Bit of a chip there in the seal. I think the sunroof might have been sealed up there. You can see that seal sort of looks like gasket sealer more than anything else. But a good base to start with. Like I said, mechanically it's on the button, which is really nice. Across the back bumper, we've got some heavier pitting and some dings and dents in the bumper. Lower half section around the plate again, some paint cracking and bits of paint flake here and there. A little bit of corrosion starting on the very back of the boot where it meets that panel. Some bubbling in the paint and some bits, imperfections in the paint itself on the boot lid itself. But again, with it being cream, you don't really notice them until you're sort of fairly close to the car. On the handle, no cracking there. As you come down the left-hand side, again, we've got some paint flake there and bits and pieces around the top of that. Around the fuel cap again, the bubbling in the paint on the maroon side of things. I'll come around the arch, you can have a good look at that, but no rush coming through on the arch side of things there. Lower valence there. Again, some bubbling in the cream sections on the uh, on the rear quarter there. Across the door tops again, some more imperfections in the paint. It is going to want some paint work. I'd be quite happy to drive around in like that, but you know, I know I know what some some perfectionists wouldn't wouldn't be happy with that. You can see the bubbling there quite clearly on the maroon side of things. We've got a big crack in the paint on the lower side, but I'll be honest with you, it's very very sensibly priced. This one, very sensibly priced. Again, some paint bubbling on the maroon 
on the passenger front door. You can see the rear door. It's all the way down the door, that bubbling. Across the top, it has started there as well. I don't know if it's really bad paint or bits of in the paint or under the paint. I'm not quite sure what is going on there. But nice and straight across that front wing and around the arch again. I'll go nice and slow so you can have a good look there. It's a little stone chip at the front. Cut the paces back and it looks like a different thing altogether. On to the interior now. Suicide doors, which are great on any car. Door card itself, showing some wear, but no major rips or tears. The carpet sort of unglued a little bit at the bottom, but again, all usable. Green handles and seats there. And the right amount of wear at the driver's seat for the year, the mileage. You've got the red carpet set there. The pavement's come off in a few little bits and places. And a painted dashboard all the way across. All the glass is nice and tidy in there, all nice and easy to read. Steering wheel showing again some wear, but the right amount of wear for the year and the mileage. The seat has got a few little bits of stitching coming away on the back swab on the sort of bar side of things there. Rear seat from the rear door card from the left. Again, a bit of trim come off there, but all very usable. Rear seats are all okay. I think the lower half has definitely been retrimmed on all four seats at some point. Headlining. Again, a few little marks, a bit of sagging here and there on the headline. You can see that sort of sheet's been put in where the sunroof's been blanked over. Nice big doors, though. Into the boot comes with the car cover there in the boot. Left-hand side rear. Again, door cards showing, showing a bit of wear, showing a bit of mileage on the door cards. And like I say, I'm sure the rear seats wouldn't have been like that from factory. They would have matched the back there. So they have been retrimmed at some point. Grey carpet set up the back there with the red piping and the red carpet set. Red carpet set's pretty good. Left hand side front door card. Again, the carpet at the bottom there starts to peel away from the lower half of the section. The seat itself, again, shrunk some wear. They're very comfortable though. They are very comfy, I'll give it that. Dashboard from the left hand side there. All the doors close nice. You don't have to slam anything. They all sort of shut right. You're not, you're not closing it three times to make it shut. On to the engine bay now. All oh, nice and tidy in the engine bay there. James has got a fire into life for us. Doesn't take much, this one, even when it's cold. It seems to fire straight up with a bit of choke. Straight away, I didn't doubt it for one minute there. No problems at all with how that fires up. Engine's lovely. And there you have it, the Sunbeam Talbot 90 maroon over cream with the white walls there. Ready for a nice Sunday afternoon drive that one.